time, Alina. Round one was all Crawford. And the Crawford family has begun the family celebration already at ringside. They wear Nebraska red. They cheer for their man. They are visible and active. could end the night for anybody. So Terrence has to remain smart, uh, poised, disciplined while he's doing what he's doing. Yeah, and that's why Molina was a good choice for an opponent. He's giving people something to watch. Three rounds in the books, nine rounds to go in Omaha. Molina gets lucky and he touches Crawford with a right hand, but he's off balance when he throws it. So just in case that crease Terry Shea is true, here he comes with a real bomb, but he misses and leaves himself wide open. But Terrence just didn't quite get him that time because he wanted to avoid the bomb first. Round four of This month, look for two episodes of my show, The Fight Game. Wednesday, join me, Max Kellerman, Renard Hopkins, and Melissa Stark as we look back at the Kovalev Ward and Lomachenko Walters fights. Plus, show you a group of fighters who may change your perception of the relationship between boxing and Parkinson's disease. And on the 28th, don't miss our special year-end edition. We'll review the year that was and hand out awards, including our picks for Fight and Fighter of the Year. Jab, jab, right hand. Jab, jab, right hand to the body. Try not to lean in with your hand. Hey, hey, jab, jab, bang to the body. Bang, bang, bang to the head. When you get in, work. Don't waste for the referee to break you up. Get in, work. 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 Halfway through, he completed six of a scheduled 12. But you start dropping your hands, keep your hands up. Keep doing what you're doing, just keep your hands up. Crawford. Instead, Nelson asked a Nebraska ring doctor to come to 
Molina's corner and take a look at him and you heard how energetic. So guys, an extremely dominant and impressive performance by Terence Crawford in his matchup against John Molina Jr. Although we could see pressure from Molina, it wasn't really effective pressure and Crawford did not at all seem phased by the advances and aggression of Molina. In this fight, we saw a classic case of the bull and the matador, where of course Molina pressed forward, unrelenting and unwavering with momentum towards his opponent like a raging bull. And then we had, of course, Crawford using the distance between himself and Molina to control their interactions and deceptive posturing to land more effectively while they engaged in combat like a true matador. In the beginning of the fight, we saw Crawford intent on imposing himself and punishing Molina with early combinations. As the pressure from Molina became slightly more chaotic, we saw Crawford adapt somewhat to focusing on maintaining distance and landing his jab. As Molina began to slow down, or at least Crawford's understanding of Molina's movement and pressure increased, Crawford began to pot shot and sit down on some of his punches with more authority. And in the end, despite Molina's weight advantage, Crawford completely overwhelmed him and claimed a superb and well-deserved TKO victory. I will add for any of you amateur boxers and young pro boxers, it is paramount that you make sure you know how to apply pressure effectively. Knowing how to cut off the ring, slipping punches, blocking punches, countering your opponent are some of the many things you need to master to have a chance against a skilled boxer like Terence Crawford. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you've enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave any comments that you feel you want to within the comment section about Terence Crawford and this particular TKO victory. So until my next one, peace out.